<laughs> this is what this is what I'm talking about. Oh, right. It's um, it's something I was reminded of the other day when when I was a kid, I I used to get usually often secondhand American comics, and what I really really liked about them were the adverts in them, because it seemed to they seem compared with the very grey Britain that we were, I was in. It seemed to, they seem to have an amazing technological array of things like this, this lot on the on the right. Wow. At the end of this, I'm going to move on to some modern novelties and talk about those as well. Anyway, this, this make it a bit clearer. There you can can you see the various things? You've got um, something that enables you to throw your voice, a boomerang, which I I always wanted a boomerang that worked, um, a monster size full size skeleton for only one dollar 25 cents i like the skinhead yes. wig <laughs> <laughs> yeah what about the x-ray specs yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. i know a lot of men who must have got that skinhead wig yeah that, that's a bit clearer version of it they can see yeah. the i don't know what the naval ca cannon is for two th just under three dollars a joy buzzer. Now oh, that reminds me, we, we had something called a shock machine. Did you have one as a kids? You'd, you'd, hold, no. two, you'd hold two things and then you press it and it'd give you an electric shock. Oh no, I don't see like that. Oh right, well, that's maybe, <laughs> maybe my yes, dad who was but, an electrician had invented it. <laughs> yeah, well I mean I was born in 1935. When were you born, Bernard? Uh, 47. Ah, well, that's a lot of, that's a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well that, that's, that's the top half of the page and that's the bottom half of the page. Monster size monsters in authentic colour, fully six feet tall. Yes. Uh, uh, bullet holes that you can put on the car window. That's very American <laughs> one, I suppose. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Moneymaker, just... that's an interesting one. <laughs> An onion gum. Imagine onion, onion. gum. How awful. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's just too funny. Five slices to a pack for 20 cents. Ooh. Anyway, so I mean, you can see how amazing they were. Of course, I don't believe any of them were like that. I mean, how, how, how could you have had something like, um, what was it, the X ray specs? That's right, the X ray specs. How could they possibly? Well, of course, they couldn't. But anyway, this is uh, 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 here are some other typical ones. Oh dear, uh, easy gun. Oh dear, American, isn't it? Getting, uh, getting. Uh, these are air rifles, though, not ordinary rifles. Nevertheless, and I, I was and so, a lot. <laughs> I was so keen on getting one that me and my best friend Barry at the time, uh, we were a kind of eleven or twelve or something. Uh, his parents bought him a Diana rifle, and my parents bought me a diana <laughs> air rifle and i've still got it really yep the spring has <laughs> gone but you can actually get replacement springs we... sure you can yes i mean i think that's it's... horrific well, well we were just using it for target for aiming at targets I know. why why do you want to kill things <laughs> well, you know, well, i'm don't i'm not bothered about killing a target I know, but it's what it leads to, isn't it? It's all about death and killing things, really. And giving them to children is criminal. <laughs> I, I used to like my cat gun. Do you remember the old cat guns when we played Cowboys Absolute. and Indians? Absolutely. The smell of them after, you, after you'd... Um, yeah, got, oh, I know. It was a lovely, lovely smell, that, wasn't it? it? That cordite yeah. smell, yeah. Yes, it was really good, yeah. Yeah. OK, wow. moving swiftly on. Of course, there were a lot of these adverts about, you know, gaining muscles. Oh, wrong one. Here's another one. Gain 50 pounds of mighty muscles by this wow. great I method. I do think men look hideous when they look like yes, that. Yes, I'm just going to canvas the women here and think, do, do women find that sort of body no. attractive? Because I, I find don't. Like that repulsive. That's disgusting. <laughs> no, don't, does anybody recognise this one? Who I think it is. It doesn't say it's him, but it looks like it's, it's him. It's um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, he... he, he, he he used to do adverts for this. Mm -hmm. Hell bent, new hell bent for leather and lead bracelets that turn your arm power on. 
goodness gracious me gosh do you love the look of your arm power they look oh, thank weird. you no, anyway <laughs> joe vider i mean it was not the typical one of um of kicking somebody kicking sand in your face i couldn't find that one this is the amazing x-ray site in in more detail apparently see-through cloth apparently <laughs> see-through cloth bones skin etc wear like regular glasses <laughs> is that really her body you see under her clothes with this <laughs> what on earth are they talking about it's ridiculous it's all uh aimed at uh, teenage men, isn't it? Well, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Bodybuilding and, and this. Wireism, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are, they are yeah. Or the, <laughs> the other adverts, the first one, I think, to even younger, really, than that. Here's another typical one. But that other one was instant pets, and you just add water. <laughs> well, just add water, that's all in one second. Amazing sea monkeys actually come to life yes oh, how they horrible. Hatch i wonder what they were right before your eyes the most adorable pets ever to bring smiles laughter and fun <laughs> so eager to please they can even be trained what, what are they talking about it's just it doesn't make sense There's yeah but but actually it did work i mean my two kids had those what are they I, I've, I've got no idea that they're, they're some kind of um I don't know what you'd call them they they, they 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 looked like dried things you just tip them in a, a bucket and then then they start wiggling and could never work out why or how it was uh they th thought it was fun anyway yeah they're, they're <laughs> and they're only one dollar 25 pretty cheap really. yeah well they they got them out of uh Bumaris, um sea center oh right and, they were selling lots of these things <laughs> freeze-dried animals well here's another pile of them um for uh <laughs> no, this this actually i know i know what this one is now this this was a mock one done for the comic-con which is a, a a big american um convention where people exchange and buy comics from each other and they advertised it by making a mock advert from the 1950s and 60s as you can see there so it's it's actually referring to things that are on at the um and they they go and they dress up as characters and actually comic con is one of the um things in uh, the latest gal brave book people dressing up and going to comic con yeah very in, um... what do they call it when they dress up there's a name for it now isn't there oh, oh um oh Oh, I've forgotten. Body something. I should know. Like, oh, anyway, well, may may come back to us. We're obviously not engaging in it ourselves, or else we'd know. I like this one. Invisible helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Cosmic vision <laughs> helmet. <laughs> now you see people, they can't see you. <laughs> I think the Trades Description Act is certainly needed <laughs> in all these. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So everybody will want one of these helmets, and no wonder. Think what you can do with it. Think of how you can fool your friends, how you can put <laughs> it on and not be recognised. <laughs> well, you could do the same with a paper bag, couldn't you, really? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> when you actually look at what they're saying is, it just means they, they've got, it's obviously got frosted, thing on it so they can't see you but that doesn't make you invisible does it here's another one oh puncho the fountain clown oh dear I, i'm sandy <laughs> i drink i wet i sleep and you can wave my hair free hair wave cream. oh and there's one for the this must be one that bill got when he was young the uh, tune king on the swing accordion um com completely with free instruction book a bit like the <laughs> Burt Whedon guitar book. Do you remember that? Does anybody remember the Burt Whedon? Yeah, yeah. How yeah. to play the guitar. Another one. Well, oh, walkie talkies. There was one of the Beano or Dandy characters was um, somebody who used to have a little radio on his wrist. And um, I always wanted one of those. I thought they were a brilliant idea. You know, where you could communicate through this wrist-based transmitter. But this is the equivalent of it a real two-way two walkie-talkie outfit. 
of course, nowadays <laughs> you've just got mobile phones, haven't you? So it's not really. Yes, problem, but... exactly. I remember my my cousin. Uh, I used to go and visit my cousin in Haywood near Rochdale. Uh, he was a bit older than me. He had a friend across the rec. That's the recreation ground, and you could see his bedroom window from um, my cousin's bedroom window. And they'd rigged up a string between the two and use tin cans to communicate. Does anybody really? else remember trying to do that? I don't know. I don't yeah, know. It, may, yeah. it might have been a wire. I don't know. But anyway, it seemed to work. Oh, yes. No, it, I remember doing that with my neighbour and we strung it from our bedrooms, one yeah. house to the other. I'm not sure it worked, but we had a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, that, well, that <laughs> one was the same with that. I mean, this one was about, like, you know, it's about a quarter of a mile away. I think it's a lot of string. Anyway, there you go. But one of those was something else I really fancied. Ah, Going on to um, some of the games that we we uh, had as well. Do you remember this one? Yeah. Oh yes. yes. Magnetic. Yes. Ma they still sell them apparently, but they. I, I just. Oh, yeah. I just thought they were wonderful. I don't know why. I, I don't think it lasted very long. You, you did it for a while, and then you got a bit fed up <laughs> of just sitting over and picking up a magnetic fish with. <laughs> With the line. We used to have them in school for the children to play with and they had numbers on and they'd fish two out and then you'd ask them what the addition or subtraction was, you know, just to motivate them to Very good. do a bit of learning. Mm. Very good. Apparently it's a choking hazard as well. You have to watch out for them. If you swallowed a fish, a metal fish, no doubt it would be. This is, this is another one. Does uh, anybody ever remember yeah. playing blow football? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. When I, when I was in hospital recuperating after my operations, when I'd had them when I was about seven or eight, um, Brian Beardwood, my friend, brought in a blow football kit. So on the we, we played it on the on the floor in the in the ward I was in. And two, two things I remember about it. First of all, if you keep doing it a lot, you can you can pass out. Because <laughs> of all that, all that breathing in and blowing and blowing and blowing, it's like blowing into a paper bag all the time. And the other thing was, I'd had um, a pin inserted in my big toe as part of the operation, and and a little bit of the metal stuck out from it. And I, I remember hitting it on the floor accidentally when I was playing oh. low football that left me in in absolute agony. But oh, a couple gosh. of days later, they took out that out by said. Put a pillow over your head and they just pulled it out with pliers oh anyway <laughs> on that on that bombshell i'll uh, i'll move on from ah. blow football. but uh, oh blow football my goodness what a game that was anyway i'm moving on to modern things now and this was just a series of adverts i came across in in one online magazine i was looking at and i thought i'd look at one or two of them and i'm sure you've seen these haven't you these monoculars that you can attach to your camera See for miles with this precision pocket monocular. Better than $3,000 telescopes. NASA techno te telescope technology. Well, I wonder if this, this basically, um, it was, it's, it's, it's a scam. Anyway, so it's, uh, it's, it's nothing like what they advertise. All the, all the pictures they show of it um, zooming in are false. It's, you know, only about 10 times uh, power on it as opposed to the hundreds and ones there. Anyway, that was one that didn't work. The next one, Pro Power Save. Has anybody seen these? See why power companies are scared over this breakthrough device that cuts your power bill by up to 90%. Um, and again, you simply plug this device into any wall outlet and it begins to reamp your home's electric currents at which you can benefit from the forms of lower meter readings. Now, there is some truth in that you can do that, but it's usually done by an electrician that you actually, uh, when they're installing the meter to make sure that it's um, a regular power load. And here's what the review of it is. Stop wasting money on dirty, unstable electricity. No, scam alert, pro power save. No, you can't use that one. But what about this? A nanotech pain relief patch that turns off pain signals quickly. Has anybody ever tried one of those? No. Well, actually, I, I, you know, looking for a scam on this one, I didn't find it. It actually does seem to work. It's in some, the same as a copper bracelet. But, it's, but there again, it's not gone through, um, through any scientific studies or clinical trials, but they've already had over 2.5 million in sales. 
So yeah. it worked. I think basically what happens is that it works for some people and not for others. And what about this one? Take years off your appearance with an instant If eyelid. only. If <laughs> only. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What, by opening your eyes wider? <laughs> Looking for an alternative to fillers or surgery to help combat mm -hmm. saggy, droopy or hooded eyelids, thousands of women, notice it's targeted there, are rejecting going under the knife or getting fillers this year. This year, Instead, they're jumping on the trend of non-intrusive lift tape to combat signs of ageing around the eye. <laughs> they blend in with skin, optimise your appearance and leave you looking more bright-eyed and youthful. They're non-intrusive, instant results and help anyone look their best. Well, is that a scam? This was what I, I found about it. Um, the reviews are mixed with some people saying it works great and others saying it doesn't work at all. Um, so if you're considering it, we would recommend doing your research first, read through as many reviews as you can and talk to your doctor to see if the lids are able for you. So they're not, it's not one that is a total scam, it's just a bit unproved. So, there's another one. This, this is another for your, for your car, improve your car's fuel efficiency. Um, again, all of these are quite appealing if they actually work, <laughs> but I think there is a great problem about them that they don't. Uh, the thing is, you can get these, these devices, they can charge up to 60, you know, 40 pounds for them. If you just go on um, AliExpress, and get them straight from the Chinese thing, uh, suppliers, you can get them for two or three pounds. So even if they do, don't, what is this? Uh, one, a one dollar device, you can be sold to you for upwards of $50 a piece. So it's basically something that they've got, which might or might not work, probably very, very little of it, but they're, um, they repackage it, give it a slick advert, and then charge about 40 times the, the original price. Here's one. Oh, gosh. Wow. I, I thought this was quite, I, well, I, th I saw this one. I thought this, is, this looks actually quite good because I do have problems, with, um, especially on my polio foot, of um, uh, foot pain and, and toe pain. So what, what these are, they, those, those, th there are a lot of different examples of this one. This is called My Happy Feet. Because <laughs> um, it aligns your toes to minimize the harmful effects of daily foot stress. Um, does it work? Well, this is this is the video they give out with it. There was no. Mm. You know, they never put these things on people who aren't young and attractive. I was thinking the same myself. <laughs> mm. Absolutely. Let, let, them, let them put them on my feet <laughs> and, <laughs> and see how many sales we get. Yeah, they put it on mine, people who run a mile, you know, right. oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I think- There you go, that. that's, uh, that's cue for an elder's uh, documentary, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's like, um, these um, larger size clothing uh, companies that show you these women in these gorgeous outfits, but the women are always about size eight, <laughs> not 14 yeah. or 16. I'm just trying to get through past this. There, there you go. Uh, last one, I think it is. Um, this is turn your busy mind off and fall asleep 2.5 times faster. Very, very specific that, isn't it? Mm. Over 500, half a million former insomniacs now sleep peacefully with dodo. I don't know how to pronounce it, dodo, doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a metronome light scientifically designed to block out overactive thought passion, pas, patterns and lull you into deep, peaceful sleep fast. The mesmerizing light quiets your busy mind. Well, this is interesting actually. This was um, done by a site that actually does reviews of this and is not paid for them. And it says, um, yes, it's reliable. It's easy, easy to use, build design, value for money, safety. Yeah, it seems to actually work. 
So I just thought I'd look at some uh, modern day versions of them. But like with all of these things, if, you, if you're ever concerned about it, all you need to do is to put the name of the product, type scam after it, and then hit return and you'll see all the reviews that have been done on it to, to show you otherwise. Oh, Susan's, it's obviously, obviously that last device worked with Susan. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's extremely yeah, it did. well. It did. <laughs> My eyes were just closing. Oh dear, that was all remote. And to, be, and to be spotted as well. <laughs> yeah, that, that, uh, that originated in the French company. Dodo means sleep. Oh, right. like it. oh yes. Dodo. Right. Ah, yeah. Very good, Bill. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if, if it worked. That's I'd be I'd be all in favour of it because I keep waking up during the night and find it difficult to get back to sleep again. But there again, if it's making a noise and got a light on it, then your partner wouldn't be too happy about it. So the, the, apparently, the the um, all the experiments showed that there's a great deal of psychosomatic involvement there. That you have a machine like that, you switch it on, you go to sleep, and you're telling yourself, "This is going to help me." Yeah. So and there was no way in the experiments to differentiate between someone who had given themselves re relaxation through the thought and the idea of relaxing, rather than was it the machine that did that? Like the placebo effect, really, yeah. isn't yes. it? Yes. Yes. placebo effect. But Has anybody got any gadgets that they think are really, really good and like to, other people to know about? You know, little things that you've bought that really made it things much easier uh yeah i can't I've, think of anything mm. well, i probably that? have but i've forgotten <laughs> this was the best buy i ever had bought, ever. It, in, bought it in 1981 and it's booked up so many scores and pieces of music oh it's Spiral one of those Biden. things oh they're <laughs> brilliant what is it? Yeah. Is it it's still going strong. Is it a shredder? What it what's it do? No, it's uh, a yes. spiral binder. Oh, you know the spiral plastic binder? Thing. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I miss I miss that. It's it it does that. Look, oh does yes, yes. Binds. Yeah. Mm. That's mm. that that's really good. You're right. That is a, an excellent little machine, isn't it? I was given one yeah. of these. Do you know what this is? It's one of those salt lamp things. Himalayan salt. That's oh, it. What, yeah, what my my chiropodist has them all round her room, and you you go. It's lovely. And, I mean, well, you you yeah. just float in on the vibes it gives. Yes. Absolutely. What does it do? My, my stepdaughter gave it to me, and it it's supposed to emit ions or something like that, and oh, yeah. um, it makes you feel fresher. But I just like the light it gives, so I'm not bothered about that. It is a nice light, isn't yeah. it? It's very warm. And of course, by the time the chiropodist has done your feet and gives you a foot massage, you feel absolutely <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Stand his ankles, I'm feet, <laughs> but mine. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, gosh. I, I was given in, in, uh, uh, in lockdown, the first year of lockdown, my son decided that because I'm working a lot on keyboards all the time to get me one of these ultraviolet things that you put a battery in it and then you zoom it across your keyboard and apparently it kills COVID. And he bought this mm -hmm. as a Christmas present. And the thought was, <laughs> we discussed this. Well, uh, he said, but you didn't get COVID, did you? I said, no. But would I have got it anyway? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Had, had I not used this, I mean, and someone's making a lot of money out of this thing that there's no way you can you can actually yeah, prove yeah. prove that yeah. as to whether it's effective or not. I mean, I haven't had COVID. No, <laughs> how many, how many, yeah. here, how many yes. here have not had COVID? Yeah. One, two, three, four of us. Half of it. That's yeah. good, isn't it? That's good. Yeah, probably, I, 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 probably we don't I, I, go I, I, out I, I, enough. <laughs> anyway, it's last minute, everybody. Have a good day, folks. Yeah, have yeah. a good day. Thank and you, have a good, have a good uh, singing thank workshop. You. Whatever it is. Thank you. Yes, okay. yes, but no, we'll have lost our voices after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs>